Hey guys, it's me Jaden here and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an omelette to improve your healthy hair. First you'll need some eggs. Eggs contain some protein and some lipids and or fats, but they do not contain a significant amount of carbs. The white of the egg contains most of the protein, but the yolk contains the lipids and eggs can help moisturize your hair and resist damage. Next, you will need some spinach. Spinach has proteins and those contain all essential amino acids. One cup of spinach contains 121 micrograms of vitamin K, which is just over 100% of a person's daily needs. Spinach will help with moisturizing your hair and maintain healthy hair. Next, you will need An avocado. The avocado consists of around 73% water, 15% fat, 8.5% carbs, mostly fibers, and 2% protein. This will help with hydrating your hair and also help it look shiny. Lastly, you will need some tomatoes. The primary micronutrient in tomatoes is carbs, although they do. They do have a trace in amounts of fat and protein. These help with growth in your hair. <laughs> and then we have some seasoning. Season how you want. Um, I use the seasoning. You can use salt, pepper, whatever you would please. <laughs> so these are some of the essentials that you will need. We have a bowl to whisk all the eggs in a fork to help whisk the eggs. You could use a whisk or whatever you want. We have a pan to use to cook the egg in. And I prefer to spray my pans before I put stuff in them so it doesn't stick. You also will need a plate to place all your extra items on and then another plate to place your food on. A knife, make sure you safely parent approval. And lastly, a spatula to flip the eggs with while you're cooking. So first, I'm going to be prepping my fruits and veggies. Well, veggies or <laughs> I'm going to be prepping the whole thing, actually. First, I'm going to be cutting my tomato. So now they are all cut, and I am now going to be cutting the avocado. Mind you, I did not use this one because this one wasn't good. I actually used a different one. But I'm going to now be putting the tomatoes on the first plate that I have to set them aside. And I'm going to rinse off this cutting board. By the way, you don't need a cutting board, but I would I use one. And so I'm going to be cutting the avocado. I cut that part, and I'm going to be cutting the rest of this. By the way, I am not a professional cutter, so I don't know exactly how you cut these things, but I did have adult supervision. Here's the finished product of the cutting. Next, I will be putting the eggs in and whisking and seasoning. So here I'm whisking the eggs and I'm now going to season them. And here you can see me putting the spray on the pan and heating up and I'm now putting the eggs in. Do not whisk it around or anything like that. If you want it to be an omelet, just leave it like that and then flip when it's ready. So I flipped it there, and it's not a best flip, but it's pretty good. 
And now the top of um, the spinach, I, as you can see, I'm putting here, and then you put the tomatoes on top of that. Then you fold it in half, and then you place the avocados on top. And there it is. That's what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed.